The witches are here. <laughs> yes, the witches are here, y'all. I am just over the moon because my bestie's here. Y'all know her as Bubbles. Uh, and she came in to spend three or four days with me, and I've been so excited. Uh, y'all know fun. in 2012, mm. I started a foundation to help other women. And Susan is the president of that foundation. So she is here redoing the board and uh, we're trying to get that crank back off because there's a lot of women out there that need help. That's exactly right. I certainly mm. was not the only one that needed help. We have found so, a lot of organizations yes, and they are yes. most grateful. Yes, yes, yes. So she does a good job, real good job. So she is in here to help me with some Halloween recipes. And uh, this is going to require a little artiste. It's been a long time since I've done anything artistic. You I have no I mean? artistic bones in my body. Well, the person that really has the artistic bones is running the camera. So I may switch with him in a few <laughs> minutes and say, okay, Eddie, <laughs> we need a sharp blade too, but I don't have it. You know, those little cutters, you know, that you push out and they got that sharp play. We really could stand that for some of these cutouts. But y'all, what it is, what we're doing is uh, <clears throat> basically a cheese straw, right, Sissy? Mm -hmm. And we're going <clears> to <throat> put our cheeses. And this is, this is uh, a cheddar. Extra sharp. Yes, yes. I've made two straws, with two, and it doesn't have the zing. You have made so many cheese straws, haven't you? Mm. If your um, cheese is at room temperature, it helps. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, speaking of room temperature, after we get this together, uh, it's going to have to go in the refrigerator. All right, that's Parmigiano and Rajon. How you Pear, say pop, pop. <laughs> How do you say that word? Oh, you know I'm so good with pronunciation. Let me get it. Get it, Parma Katie. <laughs> Parmigiano Reggiano. Yes. Hey. Did I say it right? You could work in Italy. <laughs> in Italy. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Mm. We got some pretty stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I'm going to mix our salt in with our flour. And this calls for a teaspoon. A cayenne pepper. Be to hot. me, that's a lot. Ooh. That's a lot. So I think I'm gonna cut back a little bit on that one, Cece. How about we do a half? A half is what I do, and it's a pound of cheese. And you don't we? Yeah, you did a pound. That'd be hot. <clears throat> It'll light your fire. Mm-hmm. Okay, you and I can take turns doing this. Anybody that? that wants to um, <clears throat> make any donations to the bag lady will be more than happy to accept them. Yeah, Susan, I said, Lord have mercy. We need to get um, get us out there again. Um, yeah. You can just mail it right here to 121 Dogwood Avenue. And the zip is 30319. Four one. Right? Three one oh one oh. Three one four. Is that it, Eddie? Three one four one oh. And listen, yes, we're doing well, but you know what? There are a lot of women and children out there that need our help. Yes. And we I met said, yesterday. Lord have mercy. I said, if I ever make it, Lord, I wanna find a way to you know, help help other women. And the nice thing about it is if, if we've got the money to give, I mean, we're generous. All right, y'all. So I, I got uh, two balls out of our mixture. So I decided to divide it because this will be easier to roll out. So just about 30 minutes. All right. Our cheese straw dough has been in there about 30 minutes. Now I just took a little bit of my bench flour. And we're to roll these out. I'm going to take off my rings because it's okay. going to keep 
this is one of my favorite sweet little rings in my jewelry line. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the sweetest little ring? Love that one, and I love these. Oh, I know it. I love those too. Mine don't fit my fingers, so I haven't been wearing those. Oh, uh, so anyway, supposed to roll them out to a quarter of an inch, but I mean an eighth, eighth of an eighth of an inch, but I don't think I'm going to do them quite that thin. All right, so. We got different size cookie cutters. I've got some little eyes left over from my Halloween previous baking. Mm -hmm. All right, so how do y'all like that with the eyes? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, no, do me one because I've got. You something. need a little smile. Well, just hold on. All right, which size you want? Tell you want that eye. size pumpkin or? Where did I put my cookie cutter? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Blind baby. <laughs> okay. Here's the white of the candy corn for his nose. Oh, perfect. And then we're going to give him some jagged teeth. I can tell you. A, ooh, look how thick that is. That's a good quarter of an yeah. inch. Might better roll that out a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, That's see. all one candy corn. All right. So we would need a... A sharp, thin knife. No. I got one over here, a paring knife. Yeah. Okay. And there's the tip of the candy corn. Oh, that's what I started to tell y'all. You want to make sure that you place your cutters. In the flour. No. Uh, take advantage of your... You don't want to just go like that. You want to... Think about what you're doing. Okay, so this is this is what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna need to change places with Eddie because I'm so shaky. You might not want to take up this much time, y'all, on something like this. But if you got little children and grandchildren, mm -hmm. you know we'll do most anything for them. Yeah, that right. So. There's his eyes. And I bet all that candy corn decoration is going to melt right into that cheese straw. You know, it may, but that's all right. It's cute. They're a little thick, but. All right, I'm going to do one other thing to him to make him look like a pumpkin. You know how pumpkins have those. Ridges. Yes. So I think just the ridges. It's a lot of trouble, y'all. Remember who it's for. Mm -hmm. My precious children. Oh, you got a kitty cat. How do you like that one? Mm -hmm. You don't sound too enthused. <laughs> well, he's cute. Uh, no, but but listen, y'all just let your imagination run wild. Run wild, wild, and have a good, good time because I know some little ones. But listen, if you are making this for little ones, you'll want to be very careful because I cut the cayenne pepper in half. Oh, yeah. So you just want to make sure that you, you know, don't, don't make them so hot that the children can't eat them. All right, so we will just put our leftover edges back together and we'll re roll it and then keep moving on. <laughs> okay, y'all, we did it. And uh, <laughs> let's see, which ones did Eddie do? Eddie did those. No, I did the fat face. Oh, okay, he got a big fat face. Eddie did the, the cute ones. Uh huh, uh huh. And I did, I did that one. Mm -hmm. And then I just did some plain ones. But, you know, you could take all day <laughs> if you were a perfectionist, mm -hmm. you know. I like the little cat. I do. I like and the Sissy cat. did all the, that's cute with the face. We'll see what happens in the baking process. But that, that cracker has been to the doctor too much. Too many lip injections, honey. 
She got some big lips. So we're going to put this in the oven. It's 325. And oh gosh, I can't remember for how long. Maybe 15 minutes. Something like that. Little kitty's cute. Mm -hmm. I tried to give him some hair, it's you know. But y'all, this is the cutest one. The very first one that Cece did. Look how cute that is. Those little fake eyes. I can't believe we didn't put any more eyes. Mm -hmm. But we got another ball to do. Candy so, corn teeth and a, the white uh, The candy orange corn. part. And this is the yellow part of the candy corn, mm -hmm. right? And, of course, this one just showed up. Per I love those eyes. I do, too. <laughs> and the kitty cat's got raisins. And then I did one that was where we just cut out. Cut out and I like that one. I like Eddie's. Eddie's are, oops, Eddie's are beautiful, but I knew they would be. I knew that they would be. And then I just did some, pumpkins. you know, with like the pumpkin stripes. So get in your kitchen and have fun. If you're lucky, maybe you can get a grandchild to come in and help you. Mm. you know I mean? That is good. That'll be so good with a martini tonight, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> And a vodka, I my and, vodka water. and water or soda. It'll be delicious with my. see Aunt Peggy. <laughs> mm hmm I think Peggy's favorite drink. Mm hmm I think she does water, not soda water. It depends. If she's got it or not. I'm so glad. She always has water. I'm so glad that I cut back on the cayenne. It, it would have been. That would just been a Michael Cracker. Get in the kitchen, y'all, and have fun with this recipe. Make it as hot or as cool as you want it. And uh, just have fun using your imagination. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is fun. So thank you, Sissy, for being here. And thank you for doing the most beautiful one. Oh, thank you. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.